talk about drinking. That changes the older that you get. The older that you get, the more you got to plan out your night of drinking. When, you, when you're in your 20s, not one night do you have to plan it out. You want to go out with us? Heck yeah. What time you got to be at work? 6 a.m. What time is it now? 5.30. Woo! 15 more minutes of drinking. You get in your 40s and beyond that, you got to plan it out. You want to go out with us for Halloween? Hell no, I'm doing New Year's this year, dude. New Year's. <laughs> I already got the Pepto and the Tylenol next to the bed, dude. I give me some Gatorade and I'm hooked up. <laughs> Finally had a breakdown to buy glasses for the first time. I, I told everybody I didn't need glasses. I told everybody I got 20-20 vision. And I knew it wasn't true. And I'll be honest with you, I finally broke down and bought my glasses just because I was tired of ordering chicken Alfredo. <laughs> you old people know what I'm talking about, don't you? You young people can kiss our asses. <laughs> That's right. By the way, that word is in the Bible. <laughs> Shows up a lot. It's actually five letters. <laughs> when you're 20 years old, you look at the whole menu like you own the dang joint, man. I haven't seen a side in 12 dang years. <laughs> No, because they put the sides in a little six-point print on the bottom. I'm like, just give me the squiggly stuff, I guess. Because when you're 20 years old, the menu's here. When you're 30, it's here. When you're 40, it's here. And then one day you look up and go, screw it, give me chicken Alfredo. <laughs> And I knew I had to buy the glass because the last time I said, give me chicken Alfredo, the lady said, sir, you're in a jiffy loop. <laughs> Well, I'll take that stuff to go then. <laughs> I brought them out on stage. I'm not in pretentious anymore. Here's a brand new William Lee look, everybody. All right, everybody. Woo! <laughs> Wait, there's more. <laughs> Chicken Marcella for me, witches. You can't be a cool guy in a bar with these dang things on. I look like a weird cowboy gynecologist. <laughs> By the way, ladies, if your gynecologist has to make this move, <laughs> well, you got problems. <laughs> Pixar joke number two is what that is. Finally, I had to go on a diet for the first time ever. Probably should have been on a diet sooner, but I was kind of in denial about the whole gain of weight thing. Because I don't know if you're like me, but I gradually gained my weight over the years, and I haven't learned how to exercise or eat any better. I've just learned how to look in a mirror better. <laughs> yeah, there's no more side mirrors in our house. Everything just straight on, one single pane. You look at it and suck up and go, heck yeah, that look good right there, man. <laughs> Seriously, I got a button hanging on behind that belt buckle for dear life. <laughs> I know, I always had this reoccurring nightmare that I'd take off the belt during the show and poof, kill some lady. <laughs> but when I graduated high school, y'all, from Boswell High School, right here in Saginaw, <laughs> class of 1984, that's right. I, I, was, uh, I was six foot three. Oh, here's a little secret. I'm only six foot two now. <laughs> I'm 51 years old. I'm going this way and heading that way. <laughs> I figure when I turn 90, I'm just gonna be an Ewok. <laughs> Okay, if you don't know what an Ewok is, a little furry creature from Star Wars in either episode three or six, depending on how you counted them. And the people that are laughing right now are nerds. 